Greetings and welcome to our hour-long briefing on international relations, geopolitics and world affairs. Our hour's concentration is on electric vehicle technologies. As you can see, with EV manufacturers competing to start production on the EV Tesla Redwood is in the works for 2025 supplies. According to Elon Musk, the $25,000 Tesla Redwood is expected to launch in 2025, and this has not been the case with a favorable policy from the US Biden administration towards the EV company of recent. But before we get into the soon-to-be Tesla 2025 crossover Redwood, it is important to find out how the Tesla company moved US government to work in the pathway of the company. Let's investigate this development further. Tesla's rapid role reversal in the still emerging field of EV charging is capped by the government financing rush. When compared to rivals, Tesla's charging network was completely unique a year ago. Supercharger stations were a benefit only available to Tesla owners and were mostly incompatible with other EV brands. Based on a Department of Energy database, the company's network is extensive and comprises over half of all public fast chargers in the United States. Due to differing opinions on labor unions, the Biden administration also avoided direct communication with Tesla, with the president and his proxies mentioning the firm very infrequently during his first two years in office. Since Biden is a well-known supporter of labor, Musk is against labor unions trying to organize employees at Tesla facilities. Afterwards, in February of last year, Tesla made a deal with the White House to make thousands of its charges available to drivers who weren't Tesla owners. This agreement allowed the firm to apply for federal funding. Tesla debuted its first charging station, meant to accommodate non-Tesla cars in the same month. An even more noteworthy development occurred in the spring when Ford Motor announced that it would incorporate Tesla's charging technology into its cars by 2025. Carmaker after Carmaker adopted this strategy. Stellantis, one of the final holdouts, said this month that it would also switch to the Tesla plug. The firm is the manufacturer of the brands Ram, Dodge and Jeep. Businesses hurry to adopt the Tesla standard due to the unreliability of charging stations that utilize the primary rival standard, known as the Combined Charging System, or CCS. The sales of EVs are beginning to suffer from this lack of reliability. For EV drivers, the broad implementation of Tesla standards may have the following two significant effects. It would make using Tesla's current supercharger stations simpler for owners of future EVs from all brands. Additionally, Tesla's plug would begin to show up everywhere. Other non-Tesla charging networks have adapted the Tesla standard as automakers have. The transition of the industry to Tesla technology has placed government authorities in a challenging scenario. The U.S. Department of Transportation's Federal Highway Administration is in charge of overseeing federal investments in EV charging. According to the statute, the Federal Highway Administration, FHA, created regulations in 2022 that limited the recipients of federal funding to combined charging system chargers. The Highway Office conceded to a new reality in December. Federal funding may be granted to a charging station that incorporated Tesla's technology provided that it additionally featured a combined charging system outlet. The new Joint Office of Energy and Transportation, which was established by the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, praised Tesla's standards technical adoption, and the Federal Highway Administration commenced the process of amending federal laws to incorporate it. There are other names for Tesla's system. The North American Charging Standard is the term that the industry has taken from Tesla. It has been given a distinct name J3400 by Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE, International, an organization that establishes technical standards for a wide range of products. The White House started sending a similar message at the same time as the Federal Highway Administration was adopting the Tesla system. Biden's Council of Economic Advisers member Heather Bushy stated at a briefing in December that Tesla's standard is providing flexibility for the federal program and is rapidly increasing in popularity. In the meantime, the White House has changed its position on Tesla from total neglect to sporadic mentions, despite Biden's ongoing objections to Musk's hostility toward labor unions. Musk spoke with John Podesta, the president's principal advisor on renewable energy, and Mitch Landrieu, 
the administration's infrastructure czar towards the end of January 2023. Subsequently, a reporter inquired of White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre whether this implied a reconciliation between the government and the business. With all the politics done and dusted by Tesla and the US government to relieve the company of some many struggles in production, the Redwood crossover 2025 is promised to soon be here. According to Reuters, Tesla informed its suppliers that it plans to begin manufacture of a new mass-market electric vehicle codenamed Redwood in mid-2025, prior to the company's earnings call on January 24, 2024. Four individuals with knowledge of the situation provided that information. According to two of them, the new model is a small crossover. Two of the sources stated that last year, Tesla issued requests for quotes or invitations for bids to suppliers for the Redwood model, with a projected weekly production output of 10,000 vehicles. Reuters was informed by three sources that production would start in June 2025. Elon Musk stated that Tesla plans to begin manufacturing of the new model in the second half of 2025 at its Austin, Texas, facility during his remarks during the results call later on January 24. It will eventually be constructed in two new factories one outside of North America and the other in Mexico. According to earlier reports, Tesla is interested in establishing a facility in India to create less priced electric cars, and it also intends to build cheaper automobiles at its manufacturing near Berlin. According to the sources who spoke with Reuters, the upcoming Tesla design is internally referred to as MV9X and would come in two or more variants. But first, in order to help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to receive new video updates whenever they are uploaded on this channel, if you're enjoying this content, please consider supporting this channel by liking it and clicking the subscribe button below. I'm grateful. Now let's move forward. It's intriguing that the new model's code name is Redwood. Former Tesla CTTO JB Strobel founded Redwood Materials, a battery recycling business. As of right moment, Strobel serves on the Tesla board of directors. It appears that Redwood holds a deeper significance for both Musk and Strobel. Although there aren't many details yet, the new Tesla model will be constructed on a completely new platform that most likely combines all of the manufacturing knowledge that Tesla has amassed over the previous 14 years. High pressure castings are likely to make up all or most of the car's chassis, which should reduce production costs to the point where the vehicle can be offered for sale to the general public for about $25,000. That would enable Tesla to compete with traditional automobiles, particularly following the application of the $7,500 federal tax credit. Additionally, it would enable Tesla to compete with Chinese automakers, particularly BYD, which is stepping up its aspirations to sell vehicles to Australia, Europe, South America, and other continents. It's also anticipated that Tesla will be able to boost the number of vehicles it sells annually with the Redwood model. Musk boasted three years ago that his company would boost its sales by 50% annually, on average through 2030. However, growth was only about 27% in the previous year, a figure that would have cheered up most executives in the auto industry, but disappointed investors. In 2024, our vehicle volume growth rate may be notably lower than the growth rate achieved in 2023. As our teams work on the launch of the next generation vehicle at Gigafactory Texas, Musk stated during the Wednesday earnings call. Despite this, Tesla Energy had a stellar year that no one seems to want to discuss. Musk often overpromises and underdelivers, despite his many skills and achievements. When it comes to new product launches, he typically announces them three years in advance, based only on prior performance. That does not preclude the Redwood vehicle from being produced in the upcoming year. It does imply that we shouldn't be shocked if its release is delayed by a year or even two. They have launched most of their new products with undue optimism. Volume production is probably going to start in 2026, a source told Reuters. In May, Musk revealed that Tesla was developing two new products that together might sell 5 million cars annually. At Tesla's annual shareholder meeting, he declared, the manufacturing techniques and product design are head and shoulders above anything else that is present in the industry. Based on the same vehicle architecture, Tesla intends to produce an entry-level, 
$25,000 electric car, and a low-cost robotaxi. According to Walter Isaacson's biography of Musk, which was published in September and features interviews with the CEO and executives. Musk stated on Wednesday that he is frequently positive about the future. There were no details provided regarding the features or price of the vehicles. And Musk cautioned that his timeline should be taken with a grain of salt because of the difficulties involved in developing new manufacturing technologies. However, his current schedule indicates that we will start production towards the end of 2025 and will be sleeping on the line practically. Musk went on, to build a car in a way that has never existed, you have to design a machine that has never existed. During Tesla's annual shareholder meeting last year, he declared, the manufacturing techniques and product design are head and shoulders above anything else that is present in the industry. It will be tough to turn a profit on the new, less priced EVs considering the expense of batteries and the ongoing challenges in building high quality, low cost cars. According to two different sources who spoke to Reuters, Tesla disassembled a Honda Civic in order to learn how to build cheaper cars. The Honda Civic is priced starting at $23,950 in the US. According to The Verge, Musk biographer Walter Isaacson told Axios last year that the vehicle would be created in tandem with an autonomous robotaxi and sport a futuristic Cybertruck-style look. During an investor event in March, the business unveiled a couple of new cars, one of which looked like a smaller sedan, and the other like a tiny commercial truck. Musk has stated in the open that Tesla intends to sell a car for $25,000, although the business has previously had trouble meeting such lofty price goals. Musk had long said that his goal was to produce a $35,000 Concept 3 vehicle, but that concept was short-lived. In the meantime, the Cybertruck's beginning price was raised from $39,900 when it was first announced four years prior to its eventual introduction, when it was priced at $60,990. Unspoken in all of this is the fact that BYD and other Chinese automakers are hot on the heels of Tesla, which was formerly by far the market leader in electric vehicle sales. In 2023, BYD sold more fully electric vehicles than Tesla did, and it is now matching Tesla's price reductions dollar, dollar. BYD is challenging Tesla, much as Tesla once challenged other automakers to create attractive electric vehicles. That concludes our discussion for now. Thanks for watching. We hope you will be doing us in our upcoming video.